great aunt so and so said, Oh, you look like shit, kid. What's wrong with you? Yeah, get your hair cut. <laughs> and we're still carrying aunt so and so pissing us off. We lug it in. I have a question. Yeah, man. As I go back to my history, yeah. Ron Boyd. Yeah. First thing I think I heard was fear. Fear. Many years ago, going out there with yeah. the world the first time. Yeah. Fear. 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 Then you think of, got to do a technique. Got to do a technique. Right. Got to do something. Do Can't something. just stand here and get got. got I got to have a response. We are in the mindset of Sakako Takeda. So, I right. <laughs> where am I now? Right. Right. No, no mind. Right. So, right neutral. Now, no, no mind neutral. Good. That's so excellent. Now, now I'm thinking, okay, we're going to bring this into this. Oh, I love the math. This harmonious. Yeah. Math. We'll even grow a little. Yeah. So, my question to you yeah. is yeah. this is my question. How do, as an instructor, right. we avoid the fear, got to do a technique, no mind, now to a positive, as I wrote the my years. Yeah. How do we teach this to become to this no mind and positive experience quicker to our students? I don't know. I, I, you, 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 first. You this I, and I would, I would add one of the Yeah, please do. Please, right. The, the, you know, you're saying there's three, but actually elucidated the fourth one. There. Okay, so tell me. That there, there is no positive there is openness. Ah, the emptiness. emptiness. You're talking about the transcendental. No, I just knew that, but <clears throat> right, well, the middle is an openness yeah. of body and mind. Right. The whole, the whole thing. There is something that surpasses all of it. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know how but, to do but, that. <laughs> Carl, I think, had some some insight into that, but there was still a huge amount of fear. You can be extraordinarily um, efficient in negative. You can be extraordinarily efficient in neutral. You can be extraordinarily efficient in positive. But you're going to so you're going to have different effects from all three, and there'll be long-term effects from all three. Chicago Takeda was un unrivaled. Nobody could beat him. Oshiba was unrivaled. Nobody could beat him. Tomiki tried. He couldn't beat him. <laughs> Lots of people tried. So you can be an ultimate warrior and be completely damn negative. It's just your life will probably be crap. You'll, you'll wind up with no friends and the bad relationships, you know. And if you're living in a war zone, maybe that's your best survival shot. I don't know. But you get Mandela living in a prison. And he turns around, they say, wow, 33 years is a long time to be in prison. He says, yeah, it's a perfect time to teach some guard how to read a book. It's a perfect time to turn it into a positive learning experience to do something with. Would you agree that if you go into this, I'm going to call it positive, uh, positive almost state of mind in the yeah. round door, that your proprioception is more enhanced and thus your neuromuscular feedback is better, and thus you will actually learn neuro neuromuscularly. I think and you'll be more sensitive case, than you imagine you can be. I think you'll be more sensitive to yourself and to the world around you than you think you can be. It will seem spooky. It will seem like this doesn't make sense. This will exceed the paradigm of what your uh, of what our Western mindset tells us is, is what we think is possible. Yeah. And so then you get the stuff that they're talking about. How come Oshiba could do that and Saito couldn't do that? And Shioda couldn't do that? And how, how come he could do these things these other guys don't seem to be able to do? Well, I think part of it was where he put his brain, where he put his mind. And they put their bodies in the same places but they don't get the same effects quite. And they talk about it like, oh, I'm not sure exactly what. How do you teach it? You, if you do it yourself, you're going to exude it by example. That's one. And two, you can talk about it a little bit. I mean, this, this dumb experiment shows a lot. This dumb experiment. And let's do the next thing. Let's go ahead and run Dory and experiment with yourself. Just a brief little encounter. You, it's not complete Ron Dory, but it's an unexpected attack, whatever they're going to do. They're, they're okay, we're Tory, but while I'm being Tory, I'm just going, 
fight and oh the panic thing you know change the channel you've got a choice about it and yes 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 or thank you thank you thank you I kind of like thank you myself thank you feels really natural to me what about on the part of okay what if they were to that's going to be a whole now we're going there next oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay but let's experiment rather than try to predict what will actually teach this let's do an experiment and play with it a second and we'll mix up with the bell so everybody gets to play with everybody a little bit. And yeah, just take turns and experiment with the feel and get feedback from your partner of what it feels like. Because you'll know what it feels like to you to go, ah, and hmm. But you need to hear what it feels like to them too. And then you need to feel it from your side as well. Cool? So both people get to do both jobs, right? Okay, cool, cool. Tori, or do we have one person that's Tori? Yeah, I'm Tori, or you're Tori, you're Tori. And I'll be, I'm just going to come give you problems. I'm doing Ron Dory with you. And you're just going to adopt a framework. And I, I recommend verbalizing it to reinforce. Because it's not enough to just think it in your head at the start. It's different how it affects you when you, when you bring a thought in your head and repeat it. That's one thing. But when you bring it in your head and repeat it and get it verbalized and you go back through your ear and it goes back in the brain, it's like it makes a whole loop. Where if you're just saying it to yourself sub-vocally, it's happening on one level, but when you actually vocalize it, you get more stimulus and it reinforces and it's, it's a stronger effect on you. So do it verbally. Say it out loud. Cool? So you're saying whatever you're going to say out loud. <laughs> Feels like a herky jerky monster. He's kicking my butt, but I'm getting a bunch of Stochastic, shocking, dirty thing. That's what I would get. So anyway, and then he, then he yes, yes, yes thing. Cool. Or the thank you, thank you thing. Or the neutral thing. You know, neutral. Zero, 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 zero. Or, or what is pi? Pi is three point seven. You just start repeating something kind of neutral. You know, or or just looking off into space and daydreaming. That's fine. That's pretty. Neat. Might be a little too pleasant. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever neutral is for you. You're looking for something that you can turn into zero. Basically, when I'm talking and dealing with Brian, as he's coming at me, and I'm talking, I'm looking at the clock. And it's pretty neutral. Or sometimes I'll sing a little song, and, and if it's a song I like a lot, well, then I'm back in your plus side. And if it's a song I don't like very much, like. Uh, oh, down my heart, my achy, breaky heart shit. I don't like that song. <laughs> well, you might get to the negative. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting him with negative, you know. I guess I don't sing any neutral song. Well, well <laughs> See, there's songs you like or you don't. I either like, like them or I don't. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neutral is almost like just static noise, white noise. Just trying to imbue your brain with. <laughs> Zero, whatever the hell zero is to you. Noise in the system. Yeah, just just a sort of empty noise. Okay, but yeah, let's experiment. I'll turn the bell on and let's just go around a little bit and get feedback. Cool, cool. Okay.